The money Dallas just committed for police and fire pensions is hard to wrap your head around. $11 billion over 30 years. Enough money to give every citizen of the city 8400 bucks. But Dallas didn't really have a choice. The state requires it to shore up the pension fund for retired first responders. Sort of like digging in the couch cushions. You've got to um, find money wherever you can. $11 billion is a lot of change to find. And council members say paying for it may hurt. It's coming from making cuts in the city, hard cuts in the city. The city's plan doesn't increase money for retirees who are upset. They're still getting the same amount they did seven years ago. I mean, everybody knows that the costs have gone up. Complicating all of this, the pension fund is suing the city. It has its own idea of how to fix this and it wants a judge to pick who gets to make the plan. Because of that lawsuit, the city says it can't move forward with its idea of giving an annual stipend to try to help with cost of living. And right now, that's off the table. Part of this mess started with bad investments the police and fire pension fund made nearly 10 years ago, making the fund perform worse than others across the state. Now city council is trying to keep the purse strings tight. It does feel like sometimes that we're still being being punished for the, the mistakes of the previous group, if you will. Next, both plans go to Austin and the Pension Review Board. In Dallas, I'm Cole Sullivan.